here with Trebek head coach Chad Hibden. Coach, we just finished playing the University of Connecticut. Uh, first, just let's talk about what does that mean for the program? How does that help build um, the program and recruiting and so on and so forth? Well, I just think it's a great opportunity for our kids to experience something that uh, doesn't happen, uh, you know, a, a lot, uh, doesn't happen. Um, you know, basically, you know, each year you're trying to find a Division One opponent, but to be able to play a Division One opponent, that's UConn, uh, is tremendous. And we're always trying to find opportunities for our, our, our young women to have a great experience. Uh, um, but to say that we're, we're willing, you know, to, to come up here and travel, uh, experience New York, experience Hartford, Connecticut, uh, and then obviously play UConn. It says about our program that uh, uh, we're looking for those opportunities for our young women to uh, to have some success, um, but also obviously experience different things. Uh, the girls didn't come out scared. They came out ready to play. They just, uh, yeah, just talk about how their, their mentality, kind of their process leading into the game, and then just what you saw on the floor in the opening minutes and, and, and the rest of the game. Yeah, I think we had confidence. I think what we didn't understand is uh, their length, their speed. Uh, we talked about it, but until you get out there, you don't know. And, um, you know, obviously UConn coming out in, in, in full court pressing us, um, you know, obviously really disrupted some of our flow. Uh, you know, uh, we won't see any press like that, uh, but we haven't really seen a press. We, you know, we played against, um, you know, Blue Mountain and homecoming, and we've been practicing against ourselves, so we've worked on little stuff. Uh, but full court man-to-man uh, from an athletic team like that is, is not something that this early in the year that, that, that we've been prepared for. Um, but tonight, you know, gave us an opportunity to talk about some things and, and work on some things. And I just felt like that, that we continue to get more comfortable uh, throughout the game, uh, the speed of the game, the length. And, and we, there was a lot of, a lot of small successes for us throughout the game. Uh, you won the third quarter. I don't know if you've looked that far into the stats yet. 17-14, you outscored the Huskies. Uh, what does that mean? Just to outscore the number five team. I mean, they're ranked number five right now, but you know, you know, I know they're always uh, highly always number one. Seems like. Yeah, I, I mean, I think once we go back and look at that, we 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 have some memories, and we can we can talk about that. We can talk about our second half, and uh, you know, just the things that we did well, and uh, you know, to be able to say we competed, uh, and, and even the score obviously would be in lopsided, but but we competed. Uh, you know, we didn't come in. We weren't shell shocked. Uh, from a competitive standpoint, uh, we were, you know, a little bit taken by their length and athleticism and talent. Uh, but that's because they're UConn. That's who they are. They're a, they're a power five, a top five power five, and um, you know, and, and, and that those are girls that uh, you know we can. Uh, if we if we're consistent with who we are. Um, then obviously we can come out and uh, uh, hopefully continue to grow and build and uh, you know be a strong program and, and, and compete in our conference. Uh, you start your regular season over the weekend uh, coming up. What did, what did you learn tonight and what did you take away uh, going into this weekend to kind of prepare and get ready for? Yeah, what I learned, we have a lot of work to do in a short amount of time with two really good opponents uh, on Friday and Saturday. Um, you know, this was a fun opportunity, a fun experience. It, it gave us a good you know, evaluation of who we can be at times and working on that consistency. Uh, and, and, it, and it really just showed a, a lot of the stuff that we've been doing in practice, uh, we got better at it. So it our offensive things, our offensive uh, uh, scheme, and then defensively how we're doing, um, it, it just gave us little bitty tidbits of, hey, we need to be better in these areas. Uh, and that's what we take away, and that's what we'll go to work on uh, on Thursday afternoon when we get back uh, and prepare for and uh, prepare for this weekend. But it's a big weekend. Uh, it's going to be a fun weekend. We hope everybody can come out and, and, and watch uh, uh, the men and the women. Uh, it's, a, it's a men and women's Pops Duncan Classic crossover challenge, so uh, we hope to see all the – uh, more maniacs, alumni, purple, white club. Everybody come out. Got to see your uh, your former high school star there, Crystal Dangerfield. Has she gotten any better? <laughs> oh yeah, I mean she's she she's just such a floor leader and a, and a floor general, and uh, you know just to see her command uh, that team uh, and, and do the things that she does and have the confidence that she does and the leadership. Um, you know she's obviously a, a, an awesome. Uh, player, uh, even better person, but to see her her growth as a leader on that basketball court with so many talented uh, players that they have, uh, you know, we're, we're proud of her for sure.